toxin-free DIY dry shampoo recipe to share. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm all about toxin-free living, using essential oils, homesteading, and dabbling in keeping it together. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll share with you how to get a copy of my free e-guide, How to Be Toxin-Free in 7 Easy Steps. I've been following Jasmine Hair Company and learned it's okay to give your hair a break from the shampoo every day. One of her hair care recommendations is washing no more than once a week. She says the daily washes pull out all the oils and dries your hair, creating split ends. So she recommends a once a week shampoo. This made sense to me, so I started limiting my shampoo events. <laughs> With that though, you do need a dry shampoo. I've been trying different ones, but wanted to find something chemical free. So I decided to search for a DIY. Here is a recipe I found on doTERRA's website, and I used it for, I've used it for about a month, and I'm very pleased with the results, and more impressed with it than even the commercial aerosol ones. This dry shampoo is made with essential oils, is a great way to keep your hair looking, smelling, and feeling great for those days between washes. Ingredients varies depending on hair color. Ingredients for light hair, you need one quarter cup arrowroot powder, two drops lavender oil, two drops rosemary oil, two drops peppermint oil. And then for dark hair, you do add two tablespoons of coconut powder or cocoa powder <laughs> with the same essential oils and the arrowroot. So you put the arrowroot powder and cocoa powder if using it for the darker hair, and essential oils into a food processor. Pulse until well combined, and then store in a glass jar. To use, apply powder to the roots and the oily parts of your hair using an old washed makeup brush. Now changes I made to this recipe are I added two drops of ylang ylang to the recipe I also didn't use a food processor. I didn't, I didn't need the cocoa for the darker hair and the arrowroot flour is very fine. And the oils mix well without that added step of the food processor. I'll put the link in the description for this recipe. So let me know in the description if you limit your shampoos and use a dry shampoo in between. Let us know what works for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more information on toxin-free living, using essential oils, homesteading for beginners, and an occasional organizational tip to keep it all together.